On New Year's Eve, Prime Minister James Marape visited Manus to announce major projects for the small island province. Among key announcements is for Manus to be a tax-free zone. He says this will eventuate once this specific bill is passed in Parliament. Manus must be a self-sustaining economy. Long number one moon we block over Parliament, and number three moon we block passing one block law. Law making Manus come up one block tax-free zone. A concept we block like making so that you can see more business comes in our Manus too. We said like making more hotel or more industry or kind of same you can grow here. The Prime Minister also presented a 10 million kina funding for the East-West National Highway a major road project to link the mainland. Another 10 million kina was committed to the Manus Provincial Health Authority. This is specifically for a 1,000 bed isolation and treatment facility. Speaking there, the Prime Minister says the national government will work with the two political leaders to improve electricity supply in the province. He says this is vital for the small island. Tomorrow, tomorrow, uh, if you can get nice, good power, you combine them all kind of things, awesome. uh, economy and uh, economic activities, whether in tourism or agriculture based or other industries, including fish. The Prime Minister also announced that a funding has been allocated in the 2022 budget to build a new port for the fishery sector for the easy transport of goods and services. Western part of Manus, long come up one the place, look at port, my, my must fish must up, and long budget, long, next year budget, 2022 budget, maybe like put him aside, 30 million kina, long start the first walk, long upside long uh, dry care, long come up one the place, long fish, we get the fish, must have upside. Meanwhile, the new Manus airport is nearing completion and will be be open in the coming months. Jack Lopawe Jr. National MTV News.